you know, one of the battles that I fight inside O'Reilly all the time is the notion that a publisher is about quality. Uh, because we don't know what quality is, and we don't know what quality people value. When we started at O'Reilly, our books were really crappy in every regard, except that they were the only thing that you could get on the topic, and they would have really good information in them. You know, our very first book review was like, these. it was funny because it was in a technical magazine, it was like, these guys don't know anything about publishing. That book doesn't have an index. It doesn't have an ISBN. It doesn't have a spine. Right? But, but people would call us up from, you know, this book, this is literally, this book was for five bucks. People would call us up from Europe, a long distance call, which was quite expensive in those days, and say, can you FedEx it or, you know, DHL it to me? And they'd say, they'd be paying a hundred bucks for this five dollar book. And we go, wow, well, what's the quality? You know, the, and, and I used to fight this with our production department because they thought the quality was, uh, you know, we, we've edited really well. And, and of course, they would often edit it in such a format and such a way and they'd break the programming code and that was like the, program, the programmers would be, this, this book sucks, you know. It's like, yeah, there's no typos, but they, they, they put a bad line break in the code and I can't use it. You know, it's just, you know, you have to understand what really matters to your, your reader. <laughs> yeah. Next. Yeah. Michael. Hi, Michael Perrins, um, consultant. I work in my closet. Um, <laughs> curious as to what your um, position on, on libraries is going to be as you look in the future, and where books fit into that framework. Uh, it's a really good question. Uh, you know, libraries provide a lot of, do a lot of different jobs uh, for society. Uh, one of the key jobs is access to people who can't afford to buy. Another job is preservation. Uh, another job is uh, kind of a social gathering place for people who care about um, uh, the kind of stuff that's in books. And those are really important jobs. And uh, I think that uh, You know, libraries are going to always remain an important market, and because a library is really a business model. You know, it's like uh, I, I'm going to buy this and I'm going to share it with a bunch of people, and uh, uh, you know, I don't know how they're going to change and evolve uh, as we move away from print books, because of course, you know, it's like I joked to Jeff Bezos uh, when. Uh, uh, I think it was the Wire Disrupted by Design event a couple of years ago. So we, we had an event in the Morgan Library, and I go, yeah, there's going to be the Jeff Bezos Library, and there's going to be you know, this sort of beautiful room, and there'll just be one Kindle on the wall. Yeah, and what do you, uh, you know, what's the library going to look like? I don't know, you know, and, you know, but there's no question that it's going to need to be invented. Uh, you know, certainly, at the large scale, something like the Internet Archive is doing the job of a library, uh, the preservation job of a library. Um, but, you know, that physical place that people go to, I don't know. Who's next? Yes. Do you, do you print out things to read in order to focus on it more carefully? No. You read every, every, you don't see any difference in the content when you're reading it on a screen versus reading it um, on the page. No, I really, I really, well, first of all, it depends on the kind of stuff I read. Um, the thing I find most uh, compelling about a print book is beauty. And that's actually something that, if I, if I had one piece of advice to general publishers, would be make beautiful books again. Because, you know, I, said, I really had this uh, uh, at one point when I was reading, uh, I was reading Trollops the Claverings, and uh, I had this old edition, you know, it's like one of the things I collect uh, if are sort of these old, like, Tashness editions from, you know, they were actually, they called sort of old railway editions from, you know, the late 18, you know, 1800s, they were paperbacks originally, uh, you know, great English literature. And people took them and bound them 
uh, you know, because they want to have them in their libraries. They're sort of the size of a modern paperback, but they're often bound in leather or cloth and gilt. And, and, you know, they're pretty cheap. You go out there and use bookstores and you find them, and it's, it's, it's quite amazing. They're all unique. They're all beautiful. And uh, so, anyway, I was reading uh, this book on uh, Kindle, on my phone, and on print. And there, like, I loved the print because the book was beautiful. It was convenient. It was small enough I could put it in my pocket. I mean, I hate the, the modern form factor of the novel. The hardcover novel is a really unpleasant form factor. I don't know how we got there. But boy, you know, I would love to see the resurgence of these little, you know, beautiful hardbacks. Uh, would be a really interesting experiment. I, again, I, I could just be a, an oddball, but that's like a case where I said, yeah, I'll choose print. But reading other books, I go, okay, here's this big, heavy, you know, hardback. I, I'm just happy to read that on my phone. I read it on my phone all the time. And I don't find, I find the experience better. Um, and I'm sitting there, uh, it's interesting, a book I read recently, uh, and, and, and you know, I, I, I read it in paperback, but I'm keeping reading it on my phone, uh, which is Gilead, you know. Um, and the reason I keep going back to it on my phone was because I was able to bookmark a bunch of places that I really liked. I have it with me all the time, and I go, okay, there's this great passage, and I think of it, and I can go back to it. So yeah, I keep that on my phone in my Kindle app on my phone. And yeah, I'm going to, you know, um, it's, it's, more, it's more useful. And, and um, uh, you know, and, and I'll find myself, uh, you know, and often I'll read a book in multiple formats. I, I get up to a certain distance in the print, and then I, I, I'm away somewhere, and I'll read it on my phone. And then I'll go back and have to find, find my place in the, yeah. Gee.